Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is TayJ and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best Minecraft shaders to use right now in Minecraft. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a full showcase of all of these shaders, as well as comparing and visually ranking these shaders in different settings, including day, noon, night, sunset, underwater, when it's snowing and when it's raining. There will be timestamps so you can find what you're looking for. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video. Okay, we're going to start off the video with my personal favourite shader, and this is Silda's Vibrant Shaders. This shader completely revamps the lighting system of Minecraft and adds advanced effects like volumetric lighting, bloom, ambient occlusion and reflections while still maintaining high performance. Enhanced Default does what the name indicates, instead of completely revamping the style of the game, it maintains the vanilla look and adds shadows, reflections and even god rays. The shade is very lightweight and highly customizable, so even the worst potato PC is able to run a lower version of it. My personal favourite part of Silda's shaders is the water and how when there's a sunset it casts this beautiful pink light over the water that you really just can't find in any other shader. The next shader of the video is Voyager 2.0 shader and this is a new and fun shader pack that adds a whole bunch of new really really cool features that keep to the vanilla Minecraft look while making everything look really realistic. Some of these features include the reflection effects which reflect super super realistically, blocks also have some real added effects and water is much more accurate than before. One thing I notice with a lot of Minecraft shaders is they add a whole lot of detail to the water and clouds, however they don't focus on the blocks too much, and this shader completely defies that and adds these beautiful reflections with the blocks, as well as smoothing out the blocks to make them look a lot more realistic and just a lot more satisfying. The shader is also compatible with a wide range of mods including Biomes O Plenty, Farmer's Delight and Wild World. Next up we've got complementary shaders and this is an adaptation of the classic BSL shaders and this shader has the main goal to be good at absolutely everything. This includes performance, gameplay, beauty, compatibility and much much more. This shader is also extremely customizable and when I usually use it I upgrade the blue and green textures in water to make it look super tropical and realistic and also this shader is probably the best ones in terms of compatibility as it can run with so many mods that other shaders just can't run with. Additionally, in terms of smooth gameplay, this is after all an adaptation of BSL shaders, so you don't have to worry about this shader running bad because this shader will be perfect for gameplay as well as rendering all sorts of builds. Now we've got Chocapic 13's V9 shader, and this is a high quality performance ratio shader pack scaling to a large range of hardware configurations. Unlike many other lightweight shader packs, this one tries to maintain a decent quality level at even the lowest preset. The high end presets, such as the one I'm using right now, are able to run at around 80 to 100 frames per second and over 120 on a simple scene on a mid range GPU like the RX 570 or the GTX 1060 while offering high quality visuals. All of that essentially means that this shader is really easy to run and will give you a stunning visual performance even on the lowest presets. Some additional features of this shader include a dynamic time of day cycle, physically plausible high dynamic range lighting system, shadows with variable penumbra size, variable density volumetric fog with shadows, volumetric clouds, water shaders with fog, reflections, caustics and refractions, and many many more. It comes at no surprise that this shader is immensely popular and its new version is super super widely used around Minecraft players currently. Alrighty, the last shader of the video before we get into the comparisons and rankings is Bliss Shader and this shader is an edit of the previous Chocapic 13's shader and this shader is really really new and it was only just released this year and some of the features this shader includes is a dynamic sky that changes absolutely every day, cloud shadows looming around, biome specific environments and typical shader effects such as bloom, screen space reflections, POM, normal shading and many more. This shader gives a more brighter vibe than Chocapic and pays more attention to things like water textures and clouds which are super super aesthetic for Minecraft gameplay. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a visual comparison and ranking of each of these shaders in different settings, so I hope you enjoy and please leave in the comments what your thoughts are and how you would rank these shaders, and I hope you enjoy. Hold me 
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I guys that brings us to the end of this video thank you so so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed let me know how you would rank these shaders and if you have any questions i would love to hear them don't forget to like and subscribe i put a lot of effort in this video so it would really help me out and i hope you have a wonderful day